We're here with Coach King, Liberty ILO. Uh, tough first week, ball didn't roll your way a couple times, but you know, tell me what you took away from it. Yeah, you know, we got to get better uh, as a football team. We've got to continue to do what it takes on a daily basis to, to become a good football team, and we just can't, we can't make the mistakes that we did last week. Mm -hmm. So you had some bright spots in the game. Damian Henderson had a huge game. Uh, you, I'm sure you're, you're proud of his performance. Anything that you know, your offense did you feel like you're going to build on going forward? Most definitely. You know, Damian Henderson, he's a great kid. He's an extremely hard worker. Uh, you love, he's just one of those kids you love his work ethic every single day. He comes out and is a, kind of a, a business only type attitude and uh, he comes to work every single day. And so that's something that, you know, you just love to work with kids that yeah. are like that, that there's no fluff to them. They just get down and go to work, you know, and it showed in, it showed in the game the other night, you know, he, uh, he played extremely well for us and, uh, you know, offensively our run game as a whole, you know, was a, was a bright spot for us. So I saw, or I guess I heard, so y'all had, they had three uh, offensive drive start inside your 10 yard line. So, I mean, you kind of take those away. It's kind of hard to hold a team right there that close to the goal line. Your defense really only gave up 17 points outside of, you know, mistakes that put them in a great position. I know you're a defensive coach so that had to, you know, even though the scoreboard may not have reflected it, you played a good defensive game. Yeah, you know, we played very well uh, defensively at times. Um, and then there were other times where, where we didn't play as well, you know, and we didn't execute and, uh, and do our job the way that we need to uh, at the level that we need to in order to be a good or great football team. And so that's yeah. something that we've got to focus on continuing to get better every single day. So you guys did have some adversity in that game, but you also had some players that made some plays. Like we said, Damian Henderson, I think he was over 100 yards. You had Corbin White over 100 yards. You guys scored a total of 27 points. How do you feel you're going to move forward to build on that right there? Yeah, you know, we did have some bright spots. Uh, you know, like you said, Damian Henderson was over 100 yards. Um, and had he had one, you know, where we made a mistake on a holding penalty, you know, he would have been close to 200. Um, and so, you know, and that would have set us up to be in good position. But again, you just can't make those kind of mistakes and be a good football team. And so at the end of the day, we've got to execute on both sides of the ball. Um, and we've got to take take away what we did well, you know, and be able to target those kids that, that give us a chance to be successful and, and put them in positions to be successful, both Damien and Corbin and multiple people on offense. So moving forward, as far as coaching, is that something you just tell the kids, those are mistakes that you can't make, you have to make plays in order for us to get better each week? Yeah, you know, you got to focus and, you know, there's, we're in position to make plays, you know, and we have big plays. Um, and if you just don't make those mistakes, you know, it's a completely different story. And so uh, that's something that we've got to focus on and, and focus to get better and make sure that everybody's doing their job and doing it at a high level. So you have arguably, and I'm going to argue for you, the toughest schedule in the state of Texas. Uh, you have Carthage this week. How do you game plan for a team like this? Yeah, you know, they're an extremely good football team. They're extremely sound fundamentally, uh, extremely big on both sides of the ball, athletic. They've got nine returning uh, starters on defense coming back from a semifinal team, and it's something that they, uh, you know, Coach Surratt does a great job with his, with his program down there, and he's been there for 13 years, and you can, you can see, you know, you can see it um, from the bottom to the top, they don't beat themselves. They're extremely sound fundamentally and, and doing what it takes to be a, be a good football team. And so, you know, we've got to make sure that, uh, everybody is doing their job, you yeah. know, and we can't beat ourselves and make those mistakes. Well, with this tough schedule you have, it seems like, man, it's going to be a breath of fresh, fresh air to get to district. And, uh, even though you do have, you know, I believe the number one ranked team in the state in your district, uh, it's going to be nice to play some of these some of these other football teams. And I think that, you know, your schedule, your players, if you can come out without a bunch of injuries, man, they're going to have some experience with some, some big-time football teams. Yeah, we're, you know, we're extremely young football team yeah. with a lot of young football players right now that have a chance to uh, get a lot of experience here early in the year against some, some really good football teams. Yeah. You know, one, two, and three in 4A Division One right now are all three on our non-district schedule. And, and so, you know, it's something that, we have a chance to to really play some high level football teams 
uh, to get us that good experience and, and get us where we need to be. We've just got to focus on us and getting better from week to week. Um, we can't control what anybody else does, but we, we can definitely control us and control our effort and our attitude on a daily basis and whether or not we're doing what it takes to become a good football team. Right. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much uh -huh. for having me. It is week two of high school football season. I have Dr. Young here with me with Texarkana Emergency Center. And we want to talk to you a little bit about some common injuries that are going on right now. Uh, you know, it's warm outside. How do we protect these kids from a heat stroke? So that's right. They're going to be on that field with the turf, and it's going to be 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the actual atmosphere. So we just want them to make sure that they're plenty hydrated, drinking plenty of fluids before, during, and after the game, and make sure that they also maybe eat a little snack before they get going so they can have some energy and some glucose sugar in their system, and then as well as the coaches and then also the crowd. Uh, we want them to be sure to hydrate because they're gonna be sitting in the stands for several hours as well as our band members to make sure that they're hydrating because they're out there on the field in the middle oh, yeah. with all that gear on as well and usually carrying heavy instruments. So some of the common injuries we, we saw last week, uh, leg, knee, head injuries, what are some things these parents and coaches should be looking for? Yeah, so for the head injuries, we just need to be aware of them. We need to make sure when somebody does take a lick and they're not acting right, it doesn't require you being knocked out or knocked unconscious mm -hmm. anymore. What we look for more is amnesia, not being able to remember up to the time of the injury and or the headache, kind of confusion, maybe even nausea, vomiting. Mm -hmm. Then it's time to go get checked out. Need to go get a CAT scan first to make sure there's not any structural damage, sure. such as a bleed or an injury to the brain. But then they need to rest and rest their brain. Mm -hmm. And when we say that, no contact. Um, knees are very common injury in football just because of us running and cutting, landing, and then also many times getting tackled at the knee. So very common to unfortunately tear your anterior yeah. cruciate ligament or posterior cruciate ligament, and then also uh, with the medial menisci and lateral yeah. menisci. And then of course shoulder injuries, not uncommon to have shoulder dislocations or injury when you're hit and your uh, shoulder buries into the turf. Oh yeah. If you're experiencing any emergency, stop by Texarkana Emergency Center located on Calhoun Creek, open 24-7, 365. Dr. Young, we really appreciate your sponsorship of Texarkana Game Day. Well, thank you, and we're happy to yeah. be here for our community.